check. How does one know they're in love? One knows. Right, but how? Well, could you go on without me? I think that's the best test. If I wasn't here, could you? I guess I'd have to, wouldn't I? There's the answer. Well, wouldn't I? Well, maybe, but one shouldn't feel it if they can. Why do you think it's been hitting me the way it has? To find out the whole thing was just a, a frame-up of whatever sort? To find out you just haven't been there the whole time? Jesus, I, I, I didn't know. Know what? What I was doing. It, it would be like this. I'm sorry. Well, that's just great. And you needn't pretend to cry because you can't do that either, if I remember rightly. I'm not crying. Oh, so you believe it now? Of course I don't. I don't believe a goddamn word of it. I don't know if you people can take off spells that you put on, but I think you better. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. And I won't. I won't. Okay. Where are you going? I'm going to get the hell out of here for good and all. You can't. Oh, yes, I can. Now, I don't know how one deals with witches, but you watch me. You just watch me. And don't think that just because you put a spell on me that I'm coming back, because I'm not, ever. Chef, the spell, I'll have to come back. Won't he?
you get through that one of our locket? I think so. Good. Come along. <laughs> I can't. <clears throat> no, I suspected that. Well, you do it then. Auntie, I've stopped. Chef and I are getting married. Oh, how lovely! How exciting! But when if he knows? But it makes no difference. I've stopped. The door. I'm sorry, too. It would have been such fun. Yes, I'd like to have seen it. Well, now you're getting married, darling. You won't think I'm deserting you. What? What's that? that that's Pie Wacket. It must be his dinner time. Oh, it's long since past. I must have forgotten him. Please excuse me for a moment. We shall miss you here. Oh, oh, nice of you, Chef. I don't know why I had to come and tell you, but I just felt an impulse, an irresistible impulse to come. Did you? Tell me more about this place you're moving into. Is it a sort of witch's hostel? Yes. <laughs> they have a communal kitchen. We can all for our brewing. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, I know how hard it is to take in its first chef. I don't know how much Gideon has told you about it all. About that spell she put on you. Yes, I got all that. Well, maybe I should lend you some books to explain things. They helped me a lot. Did they? Yes. Of course, I already knew I had Gone into vaudeville and done card tricks. Oh, I never had any real talent in either direction. Just itty bitty ones. Gillian's the one who's really gifted. Miss Holroyd, you don't really believe that Gillian has any powers. I know she has. We name me one thing she's ever done. The wonderful things. Those thunderstorms. What, she was in college? On account of, you know who? I have no idea who. Your friend, Merle Kittredge. Oh, nonsense. Gillian has never heard of Merle Kittredge. But of course she has. I told her myself you were getting married. That's why she went after you with Pie Wacket. I beg your pardon. Oh, but I promise you, she wouldn't have used magic if she had time for the usual feminine methods, no matter how great enemies she and Miss Kittredge were. You mean she was after me because of Merle? Well, she already thought you were very attractive. Oh, you have no idea how much she likes you. Oh, <laughs> perhaps you have. Miss Holmer, what are you trying to say? Well, she, with us, it's like the saints. Saints? what the books say. The saints love everyone, just everyone, without a thought to themselves. But with us, uh, it's quite the contrary. Look, maybe I'd better read some of those books of yours after all. Yes, and then you will see just how impractical, well, impossible love is.
Have you told me the truth about yourself? Yes. And about us? Well, guess what? Well, you never told me that you know Merle Kittredge. You did know her, didn't you? You were in college together? And you knew about her and I, too. From the beginning? Is that why you went after me deliberately? To spite her? No, not to spite her. Well, then why? Because I wanted you. Because you were in love with me? How could I be in love with you? I didn't even know you. Are you in love with me now? Well, I'm more in love with you than I, I've ever been with anyone. Can you even be in love? Can you? But I don't know. I never have. But and I've never felt about anyone as I do you. Shit. How does one know they're in love? Well, one knows. Yes, but how? Well, could you go on without me? I think that's the best test. If I, if I wasn't here, could you? Well, I guess I'd have to, wouldn't I? Well, there's the answer. Well, wouldn't I? Well, maybe, but one shouldn't feel it if they can. Why do you think it's been hitting me the way it has? To find out the whole thing was just a, a frame-up of whatever sort? To find out you just haven't been there the whole time? Because I, I, I didn't know. Know what? What I was doing. It would be like this. I'm sorry. Well, that's just great. And you needn't pretend to cry because you can't do that either, if I remember rightly. I'm not crying. Oh, so you believe it now? Of course I don't. I don't believe a goddamn word of it. I don't know if you people can take off spells that you put on, but I think you better. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I won't. No, I won't. Okay. Well, where are you going? I'm going to get the hell out of here for good and all. You can't. Oh, yes, I can. I don't know how one deals with witches, but you watch me. You just watch me. And don't think that just because you put a spell on me that I'm coming back, because I'm not, ever. Chef? The spell. He'll have to come back. Won't he? No, damn it, no, 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 no.